Okay, folks, so hopefully this is the video everybody in the 3DR community has been waiting for. I have the GoPro 10 Black, and as you can see, I've got it hooked up to the mod case. I'll go through another video to tell you how you can utilize all three of these for the microphone, so you can connect it while it's hanging there and do live feed whatever you want to do you've got a power cord so you can have an external battery strapped or if you you know know what you're doing you could hardwire five volts and you could end up powering it but ultimately the battery lasts far longer than the solo can stay in flight so it's my recommendation that you don't need to do that but i just wanted to have them plugged in for show and i'm over here at my gopro app and I want to show you, you need to connect, control your GoPro. It's asking me to connect to my Bluetooth. I'm going to go ahead and click allow. I've already once paired the phone to the Wi-Fi. you got to make sure that you go to the GoPro settings connection and click one time to connect to the app. Now that it's connected, we want to make sure we connect to the camera. And let it do its magic. See, the big problem is, is nobody can control the camera from either the Solo or the Solex app if you don't have the gimbal and you have a GoPro 4 Hero or earlier. If you've got a GoPro 5, then you've got big problems. You've got to put it into the mod case and you've got to house it into the standard bracket. And... Um, we should be loading up here any second here. We're going to see why we're not loading. Let's go back. And I just was loaded, so I don't know. Maybe I've got to completely get out. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. There we go. You know, sometimes first time you don't succeed, try, try again. So now as you can see, this is my camera, and it's pretty true. So now I can control my camera via the GoPro app. So now that I've got that all set up, I've used the Bluetooth one time to do the connection. It won't need the Bluetooth anymore. It's now just connected wireless. And I'm telling you, the bottom line, unless you're at your max distance, uh, you might be out of the range for this. But ultimately, I have a feeling that these wireless are going to be equally as strong as the other signal. So you could be the judge of that. But you, people want to know how they can get back in the air with a later GoPro now you can. Here's the mod pack. You now have the camera set up and it's live. So what are we going to do, folks? We're now going to hook it up to my monitor so we can control and we can see right on the monitor what I'm doing. Can you believe that? What do you know? So now what we're going to do, we're going to turn on a 3DR Solo drone. Let it do its thing. And you want to wait till it gets past these first cycle of lights, and that's now past, past the first cycle stage. So what you could do is you can wait up to 30 seconds, almost a minute. It'll do one more beat, but you don't need to. You can come over here to the controller, push one time, hold it down. As soon as you hear it and vibrate just a little bit, you can see I'm now running on the old Solo, uh, a, a Solex, and I'm going to be updating this back to the solo 2.4 version so let's just work with this we are still syncing up the everything needs to be together you can see there's no signal and you can now see that we're searching we're good now we're going to go over to my switch to HDMI and you now you can see there we go folks hold on we got my other phone right here and I had Solex already loaded from my last video so you could see 
that it is paired, folks. Okay, love me, like me, hate me. It's paired. You've got the full access to the camera. You got full access to the software. You are ready to fly. You've got the drone. You've got it hooked up, my brother. You've got the connections. You could talk and record on this microphone. Be a pimp daddy at your next wedding. Fly the drone over. Have it six feet above you. Have this coiled up. Go down, and now you could be your DJ, the pimp. You could be the father giving away your bride and do something special. So if you don't like this video and you want to hate on me, I really love these videos because... Or the hates because it encourages me to make new videos. So again, it's probably why you got a good view of my crotch right now for all you haters out there. And anyway, so now you can see I've got the GoPro connected. I got the 3DR drone and the Solo app connected. And I've got it on my big screen. What do you know? So again, anybody that says this is obsolete or out of date or you can't get it to work on the latest GoPro 10 Black, baby, with the mod case, which you can get on the GoPro website. So, now we're all back in business, or at least I am, and after you watch this video, you will be too. Now, I know the ultimate test is you want to say, I want to see you control the camera and record and play back. Well, it's exactly what I want to do. So, we know that it won't really activate because you can try to... I'm going to do it with my thumb. You're going to try to, it won't activate the camera, unfortunately, okay? Now, again, as I said in my first video, the only downside is, is once I go into record mode, I no longer can watch it because it goes into record mode. But I can certainly well, still watch it from the Solo app. I do not need Solex. You need to get away from those guys. Stop being married to them and get back to the original software and I'll help you get back. I sell chips. I will do it manually. Whatever you need me to do, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, I'm here to help. So here it is, proof in the pudding. So let's go to the basics and see what we got going here. So now... I don't know, can I get that screen in? But let's just see. Let's change now from the basic to standard. Again, I'm doing it on my phone. Now, it's switched on there. I don't know if you saw it blink real quick. And it switched on there. And But I'm now in standard 4K. And now I want to change it, go back from standard. Hold on. And I want to go to ultra slow-mo. Bada bing, bada boom. We're back on the TV. Hey, hi. Just that there's low light, and we'll. Uh, I got a light mod pack that you can add to this, and it'll be another video for you to add an actual different T connector so you can run the light, so you can do night shots, aerial. It's beautiful. So now we know we can change the settings. Let's go back in there again. We're going to go to the, what this camera can do, it's the 5.3K. Now what it's gonna tell you folks is, let me turn this for you. So, video performance. High performance videos are shot at a quality that your phone may not support. Playback and editing may be affected. Okay, so we're gonna just choose okay. And now that it's set up, so basically what it's telling you, I'll have other videos to explain that the advantage and disadvantage of recording in 4K or especially your 5.3K because you're going to need a really fast computer with like a 16 gigabyte video card to be able to play them yourself. So unless you plan on selling the footage you know, or working with it and wanting to need it to download it into an editing program to be able to then downsize it to 1080p, just record most of the stuff that you want to be able to view right away, upload, share with your family. You want to do it in basic 1080p because in basic 1080p, folks, when you play on YouTube, yeah, my battery is getting low. When you play on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a quick recording. Bang. I'm going to start recording. And now you can see, I'll turn my phone sideways. You can see that it's recording and it says the preview not available while recording. Okay. So basically all we're going to do now is go over to the 
this obviously would be sitting in this controller but I also have that screen so I've got two other screens to watch and view why this guy is doing the recording okay so if you don't have a couple cheap phones again this is a Metro PCS 4 back from 2012 with Android 4 again I do it for test purpose so people know it will work on the latest phone as well as one of the latest phones so we're recording for about one minute we're gonna wrap this up we're gonna stop the record and now I'm back to view and you can go in now to your photo album in your GoPro quick app and you can watch the videos they're already downloaded to your phone well you can watch them via the camera or download them in this resolution if you down if you record them in a higher resolution the only way you're gonna watch them you have to download them to your phone from the app and it will downgrade them to 1080p I hope this video helps again but you can now get your 3DR drone with the latest GoPros with a little bit of investment and you'll be just as giddy as me thanks for watching